मल्टीपल लेयर ऑफ इंसुलेशन ओके so that is if you see any cables any conductor so in cable inside the cable there is one conducting medium and that medium is carry the so therefore we require some medium insulating medium those provide the insulation between the two light part okay so therefore in uh, cables some where we are using the those insulating medium but in case of service stations we are using two insulating medium first one is air and second one is the sf6 gas sulfur hexafluoride yes. and in short cut it's called ais so if you see here this is the live conductor one and this is the live conductor two and here we are maintaining the gap between these two live conductor why we are maintaining this gap we are providing the insulating medium if we are not maintaining the any gap so in our system line to line fault happen and in our system second type of service stations are called gis type service station gas in can i ask system. one question sir yeah this gap uh, random or is it uh, specified no 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 this gap is not random this gap we are calculating okay, uh -huh. okay. so this gap i am going to decide you in coming classes after two three classes Okay. how this gap we are deciding yes yes okay please now next type of service stations are called gas insulated service station gis type service station so in case of gis type service station we are using gas sf6 gas as insulating medium okay so if you see this type of service stations are called gis type service station gas insulated service station so if you see here in case of air gas inside the enclosure live part live conductor okay and if you see rvp all these conductor are closer so basically in gas insulated service station inside the enclosure your live conductor and surrounding the live conductor has pressurized sf6 gas okay there is uh, ruler area but okay talking about the industrial this service station always installed inside the heavy industry like your refinery petrochemical okay, plant okay. steel plant so that is the industrial service station understand amal yes 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 so this is the classifications of service stations uh now i am going to discuss about briefly this is the brief session not a detail so in this brief equipment session i am going to explain you to what major equipments we are going to use why i am going to discuss this because next session totally depend on this equipment knowledge so here briefly i am explaining detail about all these equipment equipment sizing equipment selections those things i am going to guide you in all these equipment classes because we have a uh session on all these equipment sizing selections okay so in those class in coming classes i am going to guide you detail about all these equipments but first we understand to what major equipments we require in service station basically what major equipments we are using in service station so first major equipments we are using transformer power transformer i think you both of you know what is that power transformer right now next year question is coming ki how we are doing the sizing of power transformer how we are selecting the ki how power is flowing in your switching scheme where what type of switching scheme you require so that means 50% of your service station engineering job is you can say over so this topic switching scheme topic i am going to discuss tomorrow and tomorrow we have a lengthy session because this is the big topic 
नेक्स्ट वीक थैंक यू गणेश एंड अहमद